Hey YouTube, it's iPod Touch for Life 165 here, and today I wanted to show you how to jailbreak your um, iPod Touch on Windows or Mac on your 3.0 firmware. Um, this works for the iPod Touch 1G and 2G, um, the iPhone first gen, the iPhone 3G, but not the iPhone 3GS yet. So um, be aware of that, and you want to download the uh, firmware file corresponding to your device. So install the one for your device. And then install, and then download the file for Red Snow um, for whatever operating system you're on. Make sure you do the one for your operating system. And then you want to make sure your iPod Touch is connected via USB. So as you can see, I'm all set there. And we're going to open up this folder. And we're going to run redsnow.exe. And it's going to ask us to browse for the corresponding IPSW. Just click Browse. And we're going to look for that firmware file and click open. And it's processing firmware. And I am not jailbroken yet, so I'll be doing this whole thing with you. So once it's successful, just say next. Make sure install Cydia is checked off. It automatically does it for you because you obviously want Cydia. Click next. And now you want to switch off your iPod Touch or iPhone or iPhone 3G. Um, but make sure it's connected. So again, I'm going to say make sure it's connected. Then we switch it off. So we're going to hold this down for four seconds. One, two, three, four. Slide to power off. And you need to make sure it's completely powered off, not just put in sleep mode. So when you see the, when you see the scrolling lines and when it finally shuts off, when it's a completely black screen, that's when your iPod Touch is off. Alright, and now it is off, and you hear that little ding from your computer if you have Windows. Now, we want to set our iPod Touch in DFU mode. So I'm going to put the camera down, and I'm going to put you through the steps. You're going to click Next, and you're going to follow the steps that it gives you. But I'll put the camera down to show you the steps. We're going to click Next, and we're going to hold down the power button for two seconds. And now we're going to hold the home button down with it for about ten seconds. Three, two, one. And now we're going to keep holding the home button and release the power button. And we're going to keep this for about 30 seconds. It may not make it to 30 seconds, but um, we're just going to keep holding it until it tells us that we're ready to put it off. And you'll hear that ding that iTunes has um, heard it. And now we can let go and it's jailbreaking. So now, as you can see, Red Snow is um, fixing our iPod Touch, or I mean, jailbreaking it. Um, and it is jailbreaking, guys. It's great. Um, this process is probably the longest. If you look at our iPod Touch, it's a familiar screen you've probably seen before. It's the downloading jailbreak data. Because it's like uploading the RAM disk and stuff, so. Um, yeah guys, it is jailbreaking pretty fast by the dev team. A little disappointed that it did not release the Windows version till today, but still it's good. And now Red Snow works for all the devices, and it's the same process for all four devices. But remember, this does not work for the iPhone 3GS yet. But it can be unlocked by Ultra Snow, so we're looking for a jailbreak um, probably soon. Um, so you can you can look for a jailbreak sometime. And as you can see, it's doing another step, uploading data to our iPod Touch. And it says it's done. Um, we're gonna click. I'm not gonna click finish just yet. I'm gonna click finish when we know it's done. I just like to do that. So on our iPod Touch now, it's gonna start jailbreaking. And you see the walking quick pwn sign, and you know it's a good sign. You know it's going to jailbreak. You've been familiar with this before. Flashing NOR. Waiting for it to complete. And this is probably just as easy as Quick Pwn. Quick Pwn is probably a little bit more like 
it looks a little better because it's kind of like colorful and stuff. This is just a basic GUI or whatever, basic program. Um, but it's just as easy as Quick Pwn. Same thing basically works, but it, it works on um, um, all four devices, not the 3GS yet, as I will repeat again, but pretty fast. It's no hassle for the iPod Touch 2G owners now. Um, so yeah, guys. Installing bundles. And the process on the computer is done. It says, please wait while your uh, device is jailbroken. Done. So yeah, you can just click finish. I'm just going to click finish when my iPod touch reboots. Alright, and that's rebooting. The um, only thing that it doesn't do with QuickPwn is it does not install um, uh, IC or installer. Installer is getting shut down, by the way, um, just to give you a quick update. Installer is no more. They still have IC, but installer 4, um, in mid-July, they're going to um, put all the processes, um, all the sources down. So if you want something from installer 4, this is the time to get it. But yeah, just to give you a quick update, installer 4 is no more. They're going to shut it down. And we're going to unlock and bam there is Cydia on my iPod touch 1G on 3.0 just to give you a quick look just to show you that I'm on 3.0 I'm just gonna go to general and we're gonna go into um, about and if you look at my version I'm on 3.0 so yeah guys have fun with that great um we know we love to jailbreak and um uh, my next video, so probably be released today, is on how to get all those Cydia applications back. Um, so if you did the video before this and you want to get all your Cydia applications back, this is what you're um, you're gonna watch my next video. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna click finish right here and like the button. We are finished jailbreaking our iPod Touch, iPhone, iPhone 3G. Um, please subscribe, rate, comment, and I'll see you guys later.